Hello stampers, today I'm going to teach you how to make this little chapstick holder. This is the outside, and then when you open it up, here is the inside. First thing you want to do is cut a piece of cardstock at 5.5 by 4 inches. I chose a piece of chocolate chip. Next thing you're going to want to do is score it in from one end at 2.5. I already scored the line here. And then you want to score it at 3 inches. So you'll have that. Next step you want to do is take your slip punch and go in here and punch a little bit, punch the slip. And then to find the other end, what I did was I flipped this up and kind of eyeballed it to where I needed to punch again. So you're going to punch two, one at each end to hold the chapstick in there like that. Next, you're going to flip this over and lay it off to the side. And then you're going to cut a piece of designer paper. I chose our print patterns in Old Olive. And I cut this at 5 and a quarter by 3 and 3 quarters. And the reason why I did this, I wanted to hide the slits on the back side. You're going to add some snail. And you're going to place this right over like that. And then, where you have scored, you're going to fold it over like that and take your bone folder and press down on it. And you're going to do the next one too. So there's the first part of it. And then you're going to take a piece of one and one quarter inch chocolate chip striped grow grain. And you're just going to wrap it around like that. And then, to decorate the front, what I did was I took a piece of cardstock and cut it at 2 inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. I chose more mustard. I sponged the edges with chocolate chip ink. And then I took the um, Just For You stamp from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, stamped it in Whisper White and chocolate chip. I stamped a little leaf along the edges in more mustard from the Falling Leaf stamp set. And then I stamped the other leaves from the Falling Leaf set in the coordinating colors with this project. And then you're going to add some snail to the back of that. And you're going to place this over the front. Make sure you pull your ribbon tight as, before you place that on there. There you go, you got your front decorated. Now, to decorate for the inside, what I did, you flip up your tabs, and you're going to place your chapstick on the inside there. And to hold it in, you're going to want to cut a strip of cardstock at three and a quarter inches wide by three inches long. And then you're going to score from each end to one and one quarter inch, like this. So you're going to create this. And then on the other side, I applied some sticky strip because you want it to hold in there really tight. And then you're going to come in here and place it over the chapstick like this. And you're going to push down tight. You want it to be really snug when you put this on there. Now I didn't like how this looked so I wanted to finish it off. So what I did was I cut two more pieces of more mustard <coughs> cardstock <coughs> excuse me, at two by three and three quarter inches. I cut a strip of our print patterns designer paper in the old olive at one inch by three and three quarters. And then I took our eyelet border punch and punched out the edges. And then I added a strip of our polka dot half inch Dusty Durango Grow Grain Ribbon. And then I'm just going to add some snail to the back of that. And then I place this in here tight. 
along the edge of the chapstick to hide that. And you're going to want to do this on both sides. And then the next thing I did, just to add a little more, is I took the stamp from the falling leaves and I stamped it in more mustard and then dipped it the edges in Dusty Durango. And I put dimensionals on the back and then I placed one in the corner on each side here just to give it a finished look. And there you go, now you have created your own chapstick holder. Thank you.